I'm gonna do the science. Ow. <laughs> and this baby is a Van de Graaff generator. And I got this to do some experiments with, which I didn't really quite get finished, which is a bit of a bummer, because that's what I was meant to be putting up as a video. So this is just some fun stuff for the Van de Graaff generator. So what you've got here is a belt that whizzes around like that. And what that does is it dumps, it, it separates the charge um, between the bottom and the top. So this thing gets really quite high voltage out on it. Um, now it turns out you don't need that many electrons, extra electrons, to give you really quite a decent electric field and a very high voltage. But because there aren't actually many charge carriers here, when you actually get a shock off these things, they tend to be very high voltages, but relatively modest currents, very low currents, because there aren't actually that many charge carriers on there. So these things are actually usually held to be fairly safe, even though you can get like 10,000 volt shocks off them without really even breaking a sweat. So this is arguably what these things are best known for, is if you're brave enough, oh, I can hear it going. Ow. Going to build up the charge. And... There we go. So it's about 10,000 volts per centimetre. So that's this, the shot that I'm getting there is about 8,000 volts. It's 10,000 volt shock. Ow. Ow. Tingly. Ow! Of course it works much better if you uh, just use the earthing cable. Now, like I was saying, the, the actual experiments that I wanted to do, eh, they turned out to be a little more complicated. But I did get some other really fast and fun stuff done with this. Okay, this is a piece of string. That's a Van de Graaff generator. And already she's twitching. She's twitching. You wait till you see what happens when this thing gets going. Soulful whipping, yeah. Uh, Oh, cool, eh? Mm. You could convince yourself I was alive, could you? Absolutely incredible. So much like a snake. They turned out to be a little more complicated, but I did get some other really fast and fun stuff done with this, um, including you know, shocks from one sort or another. And also, because it's here at the moment, we have the Saturn V rocket complete with. Let's see if we can do this. Is that going to work? Yay! So that's the command module on the top. Um, and in the event of an emergency, these rockets would fire and they would lift the whole of the command module off the top and take it to safety. Which, if you're sat on 3,000 tonnes of explosives, eh, that probably makes you feel a little better.